All right, so what's up everybody, back with another video. And today, I'm still at Customs, and as I said on my Shorts channel, I will be making and customizing this R32 rust bucket. And um, hopefully it'll work, because I haven't touched this for the longest time, as you can see. As I said, I might be making a drift missile out of this, so hopefully it'll look a little bit better at the end of doing it. So um, let's just get straight into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is see all the parts that I have, which I have the bottom, as you can see, the interior, and the window. So what I'm planning on doing is making this a miss drift missile, or drift missile, whatever you wanna call it. And um, one thing that I really wanna make is the smoked out tail lights. To make it look like the four door R32 GTST instead of the two door GTR. Um, hopefully I can do that. Uh, I will have a part two to this because I'm gonna have to be spray painting it and I don't know when I'm gonna spray paint it. So um, let's just not talk about that right now. I mean, I might spray paint it, I might not, or just keep it like this so that it's gonna look like a rust bucket, but it's actually gonna be really cool. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and make a turbo. Sounds weird, but let's see if I can do that. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a mechanical pencil like this that we do not need anymore, obviously, and we're just gonna unscrew the tip and take out that little piece right there, if you see it. I don't know if, I don't know if you guys can see that, that right there. So we're kinda just gonna take that out and poke it out, poke, which that's not gonna work. So we need something bigger to poke it out. Just poke. And now you're left with this little piece right here. Okay. So now that we're finished with that piece, we're gonna have to pluck this little end off. You see, I see that part right there. You might need to pluck that little off. kind of hard but um not sure how to do that just kind of bend it off maybe and we can keep that turn into an exhaust maybe there we go did that see tip it off let's go maybe we can cut tip of that off to make a neat little exhaust I don't know, maybe we can make that into exhaust somehow. So now that we have this little piece right here, we're gonna zoom out really quick. <laughs> um, and we're gonna take some of a metal string-like thing. Um, so take a string, metal, metal string thing. Oh crap, that's not too good. Uh, take a metal little string thing, just cut it down. All right, so now that we did that, we can have our little metal piece and take our tiny little, hold up, I accidentally dropped something. Um, take our tiny little thingy and just curve it around the actual white thingy right here. And I will get to that part when I finish because it might take a little bit of a time, so. All right, so I decided to do a new design on the hood to make a little U. I don't know, it just kind of stood out because it showed a little U before I actually outlined it. So let's cut out the little masking tape stuff. Um... Alright, hopefully I could do some ASMR this time. 
Um, let's see if I can actually do it. I'm gonna peel the tape off this really quick. Let me see if it'll work. I have some more, boys. I am kidding. Um, but let me, let me see if hopefully this will work. probably didn't work but all right so now that we finished that it doesn't look too good but it looks okay i mean i will say it's a little you <laughs> that's kind of cool maybe that should be my new logo comment down below what should be my new logo i don't know i don't know what it should be i i don't know if i have one here let me redo the mic this dumb thing broke and I have to do this by myself there we go all right so we have this right here and what I'm thinking of doing is adding a little bit of extra something oh wow okay that works okay so I want a little bit oh gosh oh no oh no did I here I'm gonna be back I think I just got sharpie on my chin Okay, so it turns out I didn't get Sharpie on my chin. All right, so uh, so we're gonna do a little thingy right here. I pretty much add like little spikes, I guess you can say. And great, the Sharpie is out. Well. Shake your sharpie to see if it'll actually work. Shake it so much that it'll work. Okay, it'll work. Come on. It's probably not working because sharpies aren't made for Hot Wheels cars, but um. Here, well, let's just do the other side for now. Yeah, it's not really working anymore. Maybe a pen will work. Um, I have a pen right here. A little pen tip. Hey, it's not actually working that bad. make little tops on it. That's kind of cool. It's actually not working that bad. There we go. Now we got a little spiky looking thingy. That's pretty cool. All right. Um, that's crazy actually, that looks really nice. Um, I'm gonna take a little break and I'm gonna see you guys in like two minutes because we're well, not two minutes like like two seconds because in your time the video is probably edited so it's actually showing me doing the stuff but in reality it's gonna be in like 20 minutes or so because I'm gonna take a break so I'll see you guys in like two seconds maybe well guys um bad news I lost almost all my uh, footage I still have a little bit of it but I lost a lot of it and I don't have stuff of me adding the details such as the rims the spoiler and all the decals I messed up real bad the only storage that I actually have is the U on the um, right here um, that will be in the video um, thank you for watching though uh, here is actually what it looks like so you got the U up front as the little symbol thingy. And I have these like stock rims sort of looking so that it's kind of like more of the weird look to it, but it's like that offset kind of look to it. Not offset, but um, you know what I'm talking about. Like the off kind of, I forgot what the word is called, but um, 
the odd one out pretty much but and then at the top you can't really read it but because uh, like i had to write it in thick sharpie it says able moon which is the um the drift company I mean, not the drift company the um drift tandem group so then i added a little decal in the back saying r32 low life a little black thing i wrote i drew the shoshina mark and i added like kind of like a wing you guys already know about the um the uh, tail light, I added a little bit of like a cut exhaust, and it's pretty much just like that normal drift missile. It looks ugly, but it's actually like real powerful type thing. But, um, yeah, well, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate I'd really appreciate if you guys would subscribe. Um, hopefully, you guys can comment down below what I can do for my next video. Like, subscribe comment you know the drill talk to you guys later and thank you for watching the video i'll see you guys later